A few months ago, I was researching whether it was possible to have a compact, battery-powered way to deliver phantom power. Realizing I wasn't an electrical engineer, I gave up. Needless to say, when X5 came out with just the product I was trying to build on my own, I jumped on the opportunity to try one out. This is a look at the X5 P1 Portable Phantom Power Supply. Starting us off with the most important thing, what is in the box? Inside the box you'll find the unit itself wrapped in nice plastic. You will find the USB to micro USB charging cable, which I haven't used yet because it actually came fully charged, and you will find some documentation. Let's talk specifications for a second. It has an input, it has an output. It has an on-off switch. It has a switch to choose between 12 and 48 volts of phantom power. Between those two switches, it also has these four LEDs that give you a clue as to the battery life. Each LED is about 25%, so if all four are on, you're full at 100%. If one of them's on, it's at 25%. If that one is flashing, according to the specifications, your battery's below 10%. I haven't drained the battery yet, but according to the specifications, it has between 14 and 40 hours of battery life, depending on the voltage you have it set to. And that battery will charge in two and a half to three hours. As far as build quality, this unit is made out of metal, but it's shockingly light. Throughout the tests I was doing with it, it never felt flimsy. I mean, it has one function, phantom power. There aren't a lot of moving parts there. Now, I tried this out with a condenser mic, and it worked. Great, that's what it's supposed to do. However, there was a test that I really wanted to try with it. The mic that I'm using right now is the SM7B, which has really, really, really low output. In fact, unless you're using it with a really high quality preamp, you need to actually get an inline boost to get it to a usable level. Because I'm just running this into a digital mixer, I'm getting that extra boost with an SE Electronics Dynamite. The Dynamite is a phantom powered preamp that boosts the gain around 25 to 30 decibels. Now, because of that inline preamp and because the preamps on my mixer are, you know, fine, I get a relatively clean sound. I mean, my fan is still going and there's still road noise, but it's not being caused by the lack of power from my mixer's preamp. However, the preamps in Canon DSLRs are notoriously bad. What I wanted to see is if I could get a usable signal running the SM7B directly into this T6i. To do this test, I went online and ordered this cable. This is an unbalanced XLR to dual mono cable. What does that mean? Rather than working like a balanced cable where it has two signals, one of them is flipped so that it cancels out all the noise, what this does is it just takes one of the hot signals and sends it to both connection points on this end. That way when you're sending the mic into something that is stereo and not balanced, you get the same signal in both channels. If you use just a normal balanced cable, one of them would be flipped in polarity. The idea is that I'll first plug the SM7B directly into the camera using this cable, then I'll try running the SM7B into the SE Electronics Dynamite, which will be powered by the X5 Phantom Power unit, then go into the T6i. Now I know this is a far-fetched dream here, but my hope is that using the X5 to power the SE Electronics Dynamite, I can get just enough juice out of the SM7B to get a usable signal even with the T6i's terrible preamps. Let's hear what those sounded like. I'm about four inches away from the SM7B, which is running directly into the Canon T6i. This is how high I need to have the preamp set on the T6i in order to get my spoken volume about three notches into the yellow. That's just above negative 12 decibels. This is the sound of the SM7B running into the SE Electronics Dynamite, which is then running into the X5 P1 Phantom Power Unit. This is then going into the preamp of the Canon T6i. And this is the preamp level at which my spoken volume enters just into the yellow, just above negative 12 decibels. So overall, it did exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do. Boosting the mic signal by, you know, 25 decibels, whatever the SE Electronics says, I was able to lower the preamps on the Canon from like 75% down to almost 25%. That created a huge reduction in background noise, and although it's probably still not usable, if you were using a normal dynamic mic, like a, an SM58 or something that wasn't quite as gain hungry as this microphone, you'd probably get a really usable sound. Now you might say, well, that's why you have zoom recorders and stuff. Yeah, but that wasn't as fun of an experiment. What I will say is the X5 P1 with phantom power activated is gonna last a lot longer than like a Zoom H5 with phantom power activated. And then there's the other obvious use case of just running a condenser mic into this directly into a camera. Another off the beaten path use case for this might be if you are running a condenser mic 
into a wireless unit like the ones Sennheiser has or even the ones X5 has. Even though X5 has the U3C, which has phantom power, I mean, the two batteries are gonna last a lot longer than one battery. I mean, I'm trying to be creative with the use case here, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's quiet, it has a sturdy build quality, the battery seems to last a really long time. Again, I haven't really been able to test that yet. You get the 12 volt and the 48 volt option. It has an input and an output, which is super important. So would I recommend this product to people? If you have the use case for it, 100%. And quite frankly, if you're buying an external phantom power supply anyway, it might make sense to get the one with the battery. Even if you power it from the wall most of the time and use the battery maybe one out of every 60 times you use it, having that flexibility is probably worth it. If you have any questions about the unit, obviously let me know. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.